Here's your word for the day from Calvary in Lake Havasu. Visit us on the web at calvaryaz.com. Well, hey, Calvary, thanks for tuning in for your word for the day today. It's a joy to be with you. And uh, we're continuing to look at Philippians chapter 2. Yesterday, Pastor Chad uh, was walking through uh, what I think is one of the most powerful statements of who Jesus is and and the the, uh, mentality and mindset that he lived his life on earth with. And uh, I want to continue that thought and, and think about what his actions resulted in. Because yesterday I talked through the things that he did and how he lived his life with the humility and service and, and selflessness. And as we look at the second half of this statement from Paul, it shows us what that results in and what that means for us. And so we pick up in Philippians 2 verse 8 and it says this, And being found in human form, he humbled himself by becoming obedient to the point of death, even death on a cross. Now verse 9 says, Therefore God has highly exalted him and bestowed on him the name that is above every name, So the name of Jesus, every knee should bow in heaven and on earth and under the earth and every tongue confess that Jesus Christ is Lord to the glory of God the Father. So the result of Jesus living his life with this incredible selflessness, this incredible humility and service and care for others, as well as everything else he did, is worship and adoration. That Jesus is to be praised, Jesus is to be worshiped and exalted, and it's because he is God It's because he was perfect and sinless. It's because he was humble and laid himself down. It's because his whole life points to this. It's because of what he has done for us. Everything that we see in Jesus' life points us to the same destination, which is described here. It's that he is worthy of our worship, our praise, our our adoration. And did you notice what, what it says here? It says the result is that every knee will bow and every tongue confess that Jesus Christ is Lord. It doesn't say it might happen or it could, but it will. And so let me bring this to you today. If scripture here, which is true and accurate, says that at some point in time, every knee will bow to Jesus as Lord, it says in heaven and on earth and under the earth. So not just the people that are in heaven praising him, but also the people that are in eternal condemnation in hell are realizing that Jesus Christ was in fact Lord. They're bowing a knee and confessing that that was the case, but now their chance is gone to make a decision to follow him and surrender their life to him. So where are you at with that today? Have you made the decision right here, right now, while you're breathing oxygen to, to, to confess with your mouth that Jesus is Lord? Have you used the body that God has given you right now to bend a knee and say, Jesus, you are my Savior. I am committing my life to following and surrendering to you. Because at the end of everything, that will be the case for every person as they understand the ultimate truth that Jesus is Lord They will either get the chance to bend that knee willingly or unwillingly. They will either get to say that as a matter of praise and exaltation in heaven or utter it as a phrase of regret and condemnation in hell. But today you have that choice. If you're watching this video, you have the opportunity to confess Jesus as your Lord and Savior, to admit that you're a sinner in need of salvation and help, to admit that Jesus is the Son of God and Savior of the world. He came and lived a perfect and sinless life as we got to reflect on yesterday in our episode. And you get to make a decision to follow him for the rest of your life and surrender to him as Lord. And if that's the case, then we have the hope that we get to bend that knee and confess with our mouth in heaven how wonderful, how worthy of praise our Savior is. And I hope that we'll be side by side in heaven doing that. So today... Will you confess Jesus as Lord? Will you bend your knee to him now so that we can do it together in heaven for all eternity? I hope that's the case. We'll see you next time.